Men this is good Pies.com. And now you look at it, it is the closest thing to grass is field turf. I think the big sell on field turf is the infill. I mean, it's not all rubber infill, we have real spongy, it's a lot of sand and rubber mixture, and it's, a, it's actually the closest thing to natural grass. And if you're looking for a field that you know, is going to stay looking green all year round, the players won't know the difference, it is field turf. Neil O'Donnell with us here from uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers. University of Maryland, of course, you still follow the Terps a little bit, you still, you still I do, catch yeah. up with them? I, uh, I root for Freed. I'm always uh, watching uh, Ralph with the Terrapins and also the basketball team. I mean, those are my ties there, and they've been actually doing a very good job. Ralph turned that whole program around, and I'm happy to see it. What do you see for Sunday? Uh, very few people that I've talked to this week think the Giants are going to win, but I think everybody acknowledges they've got a puncher's chance. Well, you know, everyone made a big deal about Plaxico Burris and whole speech about guaranteeing a win. What do you want the guy to say? Yeah, we're going to I mean, get beat. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just came out here to enjoy the whole get beat week. And then, yes, you, know, you don't say that. I mean, you take a field to win a football game. That's what it's all about. And you look at the Giants right now, the ball could bounce either way. And guess what? They're right in the game. I think the key right now is just if you could slow them down offensively, the Patriots early, get a couple three and outs, have that defense believing that they could slow it down, I think the Giants have a chance. And I'm hoping in the third quarter when I'm sitting in those seats, my family and I are glued into watching a football game. My hope is not a while. Hey, uh, Neil, I asked Trent Dilfer this earlier uh, in the show. What would you say to Eli? I mean, Tom Brady, you can't give him any advice. Hell, what are you going yeah, to say to him? Yeah. But what would you say to Eli Manning? Because you know, you've been there, done that. As I said, you played in the uh, in, uh, Super Bowl thirty with the Steelers. What would you tell Eli? Well, it's, it's hard to say enjoy it all because there's so much of it going on. The it's pressure. the longest game around. I mean, the pressure of playing the position there in practice, week in, week out, especially in New York, you'll have people second-guessing you all the time. But I look at it, just try to enjoy the week of it and go out there and play football. Just what got you there, continue doing that. It is the biggest game of the year, and guess what? Enjoy every minute. Because a lot of great quarterbacks never get a chance to play that. He's involved with field turf. I know you wish you had that field turf when you were playing, right? Oh, I remember the old Astro turf with the big <laughs> scenes on the bases at Three River Stadium. It has come a long way, the synthetic grass. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. Thanks. Neil O'Donnell of uh, University of Maryland fame and also the Pittsburgh Steelers in Super Bowl 30 talking about field turf, the worldwide leader on official turf. 2,500 installations in more than 40 countries. Uh, we'll be back. Don't go anywhere.